Welcome, welcome to another EBX discussion, and I thank you for taking the time out of your day to listen to a brother, and I know you're doing great, because you're alive and breathing, and we are back to fight another day, and what keeps our, our spiritual momentum strong is by giving that honor to our ancestors, to those soldiers and soldierettes that fought to get us in the state of mind that we're in and I give honor and I also to all of our families anyone that transitioned that we held dear may they rest in peace and in power and may all of our lovely families may we prosper in everything we touch turn to gold and you know I honor thy mother and I honor thy father and I honor thy brother and I honor thy sister and Coming into spirituality and opening up that pineal gland is a beautiful thing, ladies and gentlemen. And it builds the power of self-reliance. It's a beautiful thing when you can finally get to that point. Remember, folks, it takes a while. It might, sometimes it might take almost a lifetime. But when you get there, you'll know when you'll know. Because if you're one with that greater creator that powerful universe, that that force will always send us signs. And we have to be ready to receive and listen, and you will become intelligent. Your life will become blissful. You will start to see more when we take the veil of the world off of our eyes. And it's very important to, you know, I always talk about the power of silence, but when you do it, ladies and gentlemen, you'll see what I'm talking about. I mean, I'm sure there's other teachers that talk about the power of silence and, you know, but everybody always have, you know, everybody have a great perspective on things. You know, like I say, those who listen are the most what? So that's how we become intelligent, folks. And I, I am a listener and not a listener of drama, not a listener of looking for the bad in the individual I always look for the good unless the individual shows otherwise and not just individual person place or thing because you know I always teach to keep our minds broad keep that keep that paintbrush at a broad stroke look at everything never just look at one aspect of life that's what one has gotten from that great from our great divine is to look at everything, not just one area. And that's that's one of the great gifts that our great divine gives us on this spiritual walk. And it's a beautiful thing, ain't it, ladies and gentlemen, when you finally get there, you know? And getting there is what? Paying attention to our spirit, everything around us, our family, things that are important. And of course, we have to stay aware of those negative things that can come our way, but if you are deeply, deeply embedded in your spirituality, those things won't even be a worry. Matter of fact, the word worry won't even be in your vocabulary. And it's one word that one would never say, only if it's in an example. Only re and that's that word, stress. I've said time and time again, you'll never hear me say that word. Because words are powerful. And that's why you have a lot of teachers, reachers and teachers, brothers, brothers and sisters, soldiers and soldierettes, salute, that's, that are writers. Because writing is good, reading is good, researching is good, because it's good for the stimulation of the mind. And these are all, all the ways that I just talked about and things I said. All these will lead you to self-reliance. Self-reliance can be a beautiful thing, folks. It's just all how you look at it. Now, I'm talking about righteously self-reliant. Now, I don't know about evil people. If there's some self-reliant evil people, I, I, how's that working for you? Now, I'm talking about the righteous brothers and sisters out there. Because the last time I checked, karma ain't no joke. Karma don't fuck around. So, I don't know why individuals don't take karma serious. I mean... It don't take much to learn karma within your own life and just in the world in general. Just take a look around. So nobody, there's no exceptions to the rule when it comes to karma. 
So if you heard anything else on me, uh, or excuse me, about or, or any, anything else, if you learned anything from me on any of these podcasts or videos, if I haven't taught you nothing else, if you haven't learned anything else, you know, whether it's for me or another teacher, do not fuck around with karma. Try to be as right as we possibly can, my brothers and sisters. And one way, there's many, remember, there's so many tools to spirituality. When, when you're living righteous, I mean, it's just so many, you got so many weapons. And I'm sure a lot of my soldiers and soldierettes, salute, you know, have experienced this. That, that great divine will give us many spiritual weapons. And one of them is self-reliance. And self-reliance is more than just sounding good or, or you know, it, trust me, when you get there, if you do it now, when I say the power of self-reliance, I don't mean don't accept help like we don't need help, but it keeps our base strong. It keeps ourselves centered. You know, it's OK to accept help or it might even want help because we all have had something, something or someone help us along the way. But it's nice to have the feeling of not needing help. You know what I'm saying? Not that you don't want help, but you don't need help. If, you know, if you understand what I'm saying. And that's the beautiful thing of having that man, the power of self-reliance. And another beautiful thing, folks, about having that great power of self-reliance. It's important for the children. And remember, I'm always talking about children because I have children. Learning, learning to be self-reliant is important to be taught. When, when a child is at a young age so it can develop as they as they grow older and being self-reliant is pre is presented to be the ability to take control over one's life being being motivated from within see there that word is within and being able to take care of yourself being being able to take care of oneself Okay, I'm going to read that again. Self-reliance is important for children. Emphasis on children. Learning to be self-reliant is important to be taught when a, when a child is young. Emphasis on young, at a young age. So it, so it, it, it can develop, that self-reliance can develop as they grow older. Being self-reliant is presented, is presented to be the ability to, to take control over one's life. I love that. That just sounds so beautiful. Being motivated from within and being able to take care of oneself. Because you can't take care of nobody else if you can't take care of yourself. That's real talk. So practice, practice on self-reliance. You know, look things up. Researching is a beautiful thing. See, when you're in your higher self, ladies and gentlemen, that great force, that that divine, that beautiful mother nature and universe will send some of the most amazing things in your spirit. And when you get those those pure thoughts, because, you know, it's not easy sometimes to get good, righteous thoughts in the mix of all this bullshit out here. That's why you have to take those moments by yourself. That's when the power of silence comes in very, very handy. So self-reliance it's like a shield. You know, it, it keeps you from getting hurt from the outside world. But it's, it's a phrase I, I like to use. We, we observe, but we don't absorb. You know, we, ab we absorb the good things. We absorb the positive things. We absorb love, education, knowledge, power. But do not absorb anything toxic, anything negative, because it's serious, folks, real talk. And this ties in a little bit to karma, too. You know, it's getting serious. You better watch what you burn your energy on. Because when you burn, when we burn our energy on negative things, we can't get that energy back. So we, we got to preserve as much energy as we can, folks, as much as we can. Because the one, the one beautiful muscle in our whole body that is that we got to have ladies and gentlemen and that is our brain because nothing else nothing else is worth shit if the brain ain't is not doing what it's supposed to do righteously and we need to work all parts of the brain the brain is amazing and guess what 
individuals we come in contact is are amazing but we have to go deeper within a person or a place or a thing and really analyze you know it's a beautiful thing when you really see what's going on with some individuals it's a beautiful thing and being self-reliant gives you gives you the ability to step back and you know and really look at the greater bigger picture of the world you know a phrase i like to use it's really not my phrase it's the great dave Chappelle's phrase you know you can't see the elephant if you're standing too close you have to back up that is beautiful and that's true because we all know how big an elephant is and it'll fill a whole damn room but unfortunately you have some individuals or maybe person place or thing act like they don't see this big ass elephant so that's one of the great abilities and powers of being self-reliant not just for ourselves but again like i just read a minute ago we teach it to our children you see it said in there it's very important to teach it to our children because if our children are self-reliant they won't become dependent on their peers or other kids or children that they are around at school and stuff like that because you know folks the biggest influence besides tv and imagery to our children are are their peers are their the kids that they are around on a daily basis that is their biggest influence so that's why it's important to teach self-reliance to our children to ourselves and to our children because you know it's a lot of things that we can do and we do do but that's why it's, it's good to take you know power of silence centers you back and keeps you on board and keeps you on course and you know so when you look up things like like i said i love researching i love learning you know look up that word self-reliance and i say this in, in anything that you're searching and studying because the wonderful thing the what one of the great things that our great divine gives us when we go into our research mode and we dive in deep is that when we look up one word, we'll see other words in that definition that will lead to something else. And that's a beautiful thing. That's why it's important to be self-reliant and be willing to go deep and learn more than that than what's before us. And it, it's amazing and it makes you want to learn more. It makes you want to make you come more power empowered. And when you see the results of you teaching others and they're actually, you know, taking your advice. It's a beautiful thing, you know. So it just self-reliance keeps you from getting hurt, keeps you from getting hurt, if I didn't say that already. And it protects your spirit. But like I say, not that you're anti-sociable, not that you don't want help. But, you know, it's nice to not need help. You know, don't take that the wrong way. It's nice not to need help, able to handle your own. It's a beautiful thing. So as much as we can, brothers and sisters, handle our own, you know, keep on practicing that that power of, of you know, self-reliance, but and also teach it to our loved ones and our family. We we cultivate and build that power within us and then we let it flow on the outside and just let it flow out to the world. On to those that want to be lifted and want to grow. And that's my thought. That's my positive thought. That's my real thought. Y'all stay up out there. Stay strong. My regents and teachers, those who came in, my soldiers and soldierettes, salute. Thank you for coming in to another EBX discussion. Always appreciate it. Because it was a time I didn't do this, folks. So I do this for the great divine. So thank you for coming along, you know, on this, on this journey with me. I, I really appreciate it. And I give honor to your family, my family, my children, their mothers, brothers and sisters all over the world. May you have peace in your part of the world, wherever you are right now. One.